Hello, everyone. I am Vika, and I am part of the Pipelines group during the hackathon, and I will show you now how we will work. So first of all, before I start and forget anything, the slide deck you see here, you can find on Slack. If you go to the Pipelines channel, you can see the progress slides are being um, are bookmarked here. And you can also find them when you go to the website, to the hackathon events page. It's linked there. Um, anyway, so what we will do during the hackathon, um, or our main purpose, is to maintain the existing NF4 pipelines, um, start new NF4 pipelines if you have any in mind, but also work on your own pipelines that might use the NF4 infrastructure, like if you want to use uh, modules or sub workflows, this is still a good place or still group to join. Um, so in general, James, Susanna, and me uh, will try to coordinate this group, give you any pointers if you are if you have any questions or general advice. You can always ping us in the Slack channel um, that you have here, the Hackathon March Pipelines one, and we'll try to help you. And hopefully, also many other people in the community will will help everyone out. So as general tasks, I mentioned, we want to work on the existing NF4 pipelines. So there's quite a few developmental tasks to do. One of the big ones is for the pipelines that are still in DSL1 to work on the DSL2 transition. Then always, of course, bug fixes or extend functionality, add new features, and so on. Um, and if you have a new pipeline in mind, you can, of course, um, use this time to get started. Just make sure to first go to the new pipeline Slack channel, propose it, and then we can have a discussion and review it and see if it fits um, as a new pipeline or if it's maybe something that can be added into one of the existing ones. To work um, or to get reviews done quickly, we um, started using a review buddy system. So we have a table at the end of the slide deck where you can enter your name and then find a buddy. And then you can hopefully very rapidly um, switch or exchange PR reviews so you can get them merged fast and make progress fast and don't have to wait for reviews for a long time. So yeah, just enter your name and then or um, yeah, enter your name into one of the slots and then you hopefully find a buddy there. Um, and then we have um, hopefully a lot of people that will want to contribute to some of these pipelines. And here we have a couple of ideas about how that can be done. If you have other um, ideas that we didn't come up with yet, then of course it's also always welcome. Um, but one of the things that is always super helpful is to read the documentation that we have on the website make sure it's coherent, you understand what you're supposed to do, if you would want to run the pipeline, if you feel like you're missing anything, if there are any questions that you would like to have answered, um, this would be great if you can extend and work on this during the hackathon. Then a lot of the pipelines may need new modules or some of the modules may need to be extended or in some way um, fixed or have new features added. So this is also a great way to um, help pipeline developers um, and maybe also in collaboration with the modules group during the hackathon. Um, and then, as I mentioned, yeah, we have bug fixes, small and big ones. We need new features for a lot of the pipelines. So hopefully there's something for everyone around to do. Um, just remember, so this is the slide deck that I showed you. We will try to track the progress over the next few days on these on these slides. So add yourself to the team member slide just so we we know who's working on it and we can um, celebrate each other's progress and also find pipeline developers that might be working on the same pipeline. We have an issue board on GitHub where first of all, if you're a pipeline developer, you can add your issues too, but also you can use it to find issues to work on. So we have the different tabs here for documentation, infrastructure, modules, and so on. So we can go to the pipelines tab and we can see a bunch of issues have already been added. So you can then go to the to-do list here. You see the RNA seq pipeline has added an issue such as show good and bad examples in documentation. You can click on the issue, read what it's about, see if you want to work on it, maybe get in touch also with the pipeline developers of RNA-seq. Um, then assign yourself. This is really important. So you can click here and then find yourself in the developer and your GitHub handle here. 
Um, and this is really important just to make sure that not multiple people are working on the same thing and you accidentally duplicate your work. And then once you start working on it, you can move it from to do to in progress. Um, once you are done with this, if you think it's finished and you open a pull request, you can uh, move it to the ready for review section. And then last but not least to the, once it's re reviewed and merged, you can move it to done. And this is hopefully how we can keep track of all the, all the things we'll work on. So yeah, I already mentioned to add yourself to the project board. And then also on these slides here, um, it would be great if you can post your progress daily. We have one slide per pipeline per day, and this will hopefully help us keep track and celebrate all of the achievements. Um, yeah, so um, James, Susanna, and me, we have already signed up as team members and just add yourself here and with your GitHub name, and then we can, we can see who joins us. Here we have the reviewing buddy list, and then we subdivide it, as I mentioned, for day one um, and day two. So for day one, for example, here we have this slide for the EGA pipeline. We have a goal for the hackathon, it's the DSL2 conversion. Then we have the little um, group emoji here to highlight all the people that work on it. And then you can indicate all the issues and pull requests you're working on. So um, I don't know, at Falco as fast you see alternative, this was already accomplished. So we have a green tick. Then we have one that is adding presec that is under review. We have the little eyes and then multiplexing mapping support. And uh, multiplex mapping support is still under construction. So we have the little construction signs. Um, and um, please use these emojis because they help us keep an overview about uh, what, what the progress is. Yeah, and that's it. And I hope to see you there. And if you have any questions, then just contact us on Slack and we'll be happy to help.